I do believe this is only maybe 10 cents a pound. Uh, oh, yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> Five pounds, 50 cents. I got 50 cents to add to the bill. That self-propelled thing ain't gonna be in the way. Oh shoot, that stripped that down. Oh shoot, it cracked it. <sighs> cracked my socket. Chinesium. Half inch. Equivalent half inch equivalent to 13 milli. <laughs> I think so. Yes it is. Let's crack it. And all right, well, we'll just drop it all off. But get next time we buy quality, quality. This is like a forty-dollar piece of wasted crap and crap and crap. So we turn the lawnmower in a shred. Goodbye. in there you joke all right we're gonna start with the aluminum wheel we got one single wheel we got some aluminum breakage going on right here and that's aluminum breakage right there all that stuff inside the tote The other end of the aluminum breakage and then all this right here is uh, motors that also goes for aluminum breakage all kinds of weed eater motors lawnmower motors yada yada and then I got this uh, I found the other day uh, aluminum wire very nice That seems to be everywhere. I just turned in a bunch of that stuff. I think it made like $15 and it's everywhere. I'm gonna pick it up all the time now. Uh, I got a small amount of old sheet and a small amount of extrusions. As you can see. We'll go ahead and turn that in just to get rid of it. Not too bad. I don't know what we're gonna get paid, but it should be pretty decent. We're moving it, everybody. And it's going pretty good. So far. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Sometimes it don't work out so well with the pay. And it seems like you're losing money. But if you're doing it right, and you're keeping things like cutting all your wires and then you know like so like the ovens take the backing off pull the wires off cut them off of their dishwashers dryers you come across the all steel dishwasher cut all the wires off you can get that motor off or the little brass pieces and eventually after months of doing that 
you have piles of this stuff. You have piles of brass, dirty, clean brass. You have piles of clean aluminum. You have piles of extrusions. You have piles of HMS, like AutoCast. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So some then then it starts becoming worth it when you start turning in that pile, which I just did. The last the last week I've been turning in piles of it. Let's go turn in this pile. Let's do that. And then we're gonna uh, dip through some alleys on the way home because tomorrow is trash day. That's right. This is the action camera. And it sits pretty nice like that. <laughs> but we ain't gonna do no ro uh, road footage, whatever. Got ourselves a fan. More copper windings. We be stacking. Nothing wrong with that pallet. That's a good one. I'll we'll get more money for that. I'll take this one. Right on. That little gate would look good in a garden. Dishwasher. Nice. junk wire, 250 wire. Right there, Kappa. Cool.
six bucks. your scrap what is this thing i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to get it it's a refrigerator that's <laughs> a fridge Shit. refrigerator huh it's all kinds of flies flying all right. Hey man, I'm call, calling somebody right now to see if he can come pick us up. Cool. I got a little bit more down there. Cool. He's just right down the road, so I'm sure he'll come and get it. Take it off. Hey, back here. all right. Hey Dan, uh, this is uh, TC from Oakland, Oakland Alley. So there's a uh, right down that alley by my house is a refrigerator, and this other guy like right across the alley from me is throwing out some air ducts. Just giving you the heads up, man. Later.
tuned up. Woo! <laughs> it's tuned, baby. <laughs>